As Bill Copeland once said, the trouble with not having a goal is that you can spend your life running up and down the field and never score. Imagine this, a life without direction, without purpose, without a clear destination. It's like being on a journey without a map or compass. That's the reality without goals. Goals are the guiding stars that light our path, the compass that directs us where to go. They give us a sense of purpose, a reason to get up in the morning, a destination to strive for. Goals are not just about what we want to achieve, whether it's a promotion at work or running a marathon or learning a new language. No, it's much more than that. Goals are about how we want to live our lives, the kind of person we want to become, the legacy we want to leave behind. Remember, a life without goals is like a ship without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the sea. Once we have our goals, the next step is to figure out how to achieve them. This is where strategy comes into play. A key strategy is breaking large goals down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Think of it as a journey. We don't leap from the starting line to the finish line in one giant step, we move forward one step at a time. Setting realistic timelines is another crucial strategy. We should give ourselves enough time to complete each step without feeling overwhelmed or rushed. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your success. Regularly tracking progress is also vital. It helps us see how far we've come, which is incredibly motivating, and allows us to adjust our strategies if necessary. And let's not forget resilience. Life is full of obstacles and setbacks, but it's how we overcome these challenges that truly matters. Achieving goals isn't always easy, but with the right strategies and a resilient mindset, anything is possible. Motivation is the fuel that drives us towards our goals, but like any fuel, it can run out if not replenished. Now how do we keep our motivational tanks full? One way is by celebrating small victories. Each goal achieved, no matter how small, is a step closer to the end goal. Celebrate these moments, for they are proof of your progress. Another way is to stay focused on the end goal. It can be easy to get caught up in the details and lose sight of the bigger picture. So, remind yourself of why you started and where you want to be. This will keep your motivation high and your eyes on the prize. Also, surround yourself with positive influences, people who uplift you, who inspire you, who help you believe in your own capabilities. They can help fan the flames of your motivation. Remember, motivation comes from within. We have the power to cultivate it. It's like a garden that needs constant tending. So, feed it, nurture it, and watch it grow. Motivation isn't something that just happens. It's something we create something we nurture, and something we can control. Let's quickly recap the key points we've discussed today. Setting goals isn't just a task, it's a journey that shapes your life. The strategies for achieving these goals are as diverse as the goals themselves, but consistency and determination are always key. High motivation is not a destination, but a continuous process requiring resilience and flexibility. And remember, as Zig Ziglar once said, people often say that motivation doesn't last, well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily.